Hey guys, Curtis here, tip of the day. I'm going to try and expand on something that I did last time. The last video, you notice I did something about tips of English to help your speed control. I had a lot of response on that and I, I'm going to show you another really good example. I think the more that you see of this, the more you'll recognize them in the game and you can make this easy shift. It's basically about not using have to execute the slide perfectly if you can just use the natural roll and put a tip of outside to make it natural. So what I, I'm going to show you a good example. This comes up a lot in pool. I, uh, I'll show you an example of something that happens. So let's say I was shoot. Let's say I was shooting the eight ball. Like this was a strike. I was shooting the eight ball last. Okay. So what I let's just say as an example, what I want you to do. It's we're always going to start with this premise. If I hit just nice natural roll, a nice flat roll shot, what that is the most natural way of getting shape. So in this case, and this is what happens a lot, and I'm going to introduce a principle that we talked about coming down the line for shape. We did that in another video, but this is a good example too. So I know that if I have natural, what's going to happen, it's going to come down here and it's going to come down towards here. And what happens is, is when you play shape that way, this eight ball, you're coming across the line. What that means is you got to play perfect shape to be ideal, right? So if I see this natural line, so if I hit this in the dead center of the pocket with just roll, you see how I'm coming down the line and even towards this, which is what you don't want to do. So one, so. That one, so what people don't want to do, they don't want to come towards the side pocket. They don't, they don't want to come here. So what they, what they see here, if this is a natural roll, see how I'm coming down the line. And I got to be absolutely perfect. This is how people get in trouble. So now I'm shooting this eight ball. I'm on the rail. It's a back cut. Those are how you don't get out of situations that you should get out of. So the principle is, but what the subtle tip of the day that we're going to show you. The principle is you want to come to here, bump this rail so you're coming down the line. A lot of us know that if we're coming down the line, our speed is much, we have, we, we have so much margin for error if we bump this rail. Here's the problem that a lot of people do. It means they think they have to stun it to here to come to here. But if you use stun for this, it can be done. You stun it perfectly. But what happens a lot of the times is people, because they use stun, they go, okay, top spin will get me to here, so I need to stun it to here. It's way harder to execute. So sometimes you dig into it too much and you come across the line this way. Or you get, so this is, happens a lot. And you hook yourself because you're trying to, to not use roll. You're trying to stun it and you're coming across the line and you get yourself into some trouble. Now, again, you could get perfect. You could get here, you could get in trouble, you could come here, and like all of those things can get you a shot, but never as often as what I'm about to show you. This is very, very simple to do, and it's something that is extremely easy to repeat. We talked about that in the last video. So I know that my, if the natural, because the reason that natural is so important is the ball's always moving forward. So if it's rolling, it just continues and you use it to its natural course. If you're sliding and you want to do it, it means that it has to actually be sliding when it hits here in order to come here. Or it could, so you have to execute that. It's, it, it, it's much more difficult. It, it, same thing with draw. If you're drawing it, it has to still have draw on it. And it's going in one direction, stopping and coming in another direction. Never as natural. So what we want to do here is... You make sure you, you, you mark a little spot here and a little spot there so that it's the same, right? We notice this is this top's going to bring me to here. So instead of trying to stun it where we can get in trouble, all you would do, same principle as last, is put my, find my top and I'm going to put one tip. Now it's just a matter of putting one tip. If I put too much, I could go like this. But if you execute it right, one tip will bump this rail and come naturally there. But it's so much easier instead of trying to gauge the perfect stun to here and, and perfect speed to get there. You continue your natural path 
I put one tip of English and watch this. I bump that rail and I come naturally down the angle, okay? So this will get you way, way more results if you come down. So I find natural. I see natural is coming here. I want to I want to come here. It's the same as what we did before. It's so natural is here. I want to, to do one tip over. Natural gets me down this line. Well, we want to open it up to this line. Just takes a little practice, but watch how much if I just put one tip of English, watch this. It's going to bump that and come down the line. You will get into these zones way more often with that than if you try and stun it in. Trust me, most people will try and say, okay, natural. I, they, what they'll try and do is just roll it into here, and that's doable. But again, you need to be perfect. So if they want to bump the second rail, they, they recognize this. Okay, great. I'm going to use the second rail. And what they're going to do more often than not is they're not perfect. It's something like this. And they're going to come across the line again. And they're there. I would have to, if, if you do it this way, you'll have to execute it perfect. You'll come too far, not enough. Again, it can be done. But I really think that recognizing the fact that instead of stunning it across this line where you will get yourself in trouble, it's so, it's very difficult to get in trouble with natural and one, it's just so difficult to get in trouble this way. Trust me, do it that way. Don't stun it across the line. You will find yourself becoming a much better positional player if you use these subtle principles. There's a bunch of different shots like this that I could show you, but it's about recognizing your natural and then shifting over one if natural isn't perfect. If natural is perfect, so you would just use natural. Natural meaning just top. So in this case, so for example, last thing before, if, for example, this was a little bit over, now I see that natural would bring me to here. I wouldn't put right and left, right? Because natural would bring me to here. But in this case, I've list on the line, okay, natural is going to bump me this way. You don't want that. We just put one tip of English and off we go, okay? So recognizing what natural, dead center, like, or top spin, roll, and you'll see the lines. Once you start seeing those lines and you want to use them as much as possible, that's going to be the foundation of your shot number one down the line, and you start seeing those lines. Then when you want to open and close them, one tip, one tip. It's much easier to do that than to try and open and close it with stuns and stun run throughs. It can be done again, but not nearly as often. So that's something I just wanted to, to expand on what we talked about in the last one because people did like the idea of using tip, tip speed for, or tip shape position for speed. And this is another great one. Just open it up slightly and then it also incorporates coming down the positional line, not across it or across it where you have to be perfect okay so i hope that was helpful and we'll be back with another tip of the day tomorrow